A cozy morning here on the Blackstone Isle. Not for long, though, because things are going to go incredibly wrong very quickly, as they always do. I'm going to crash into everything. Where am I going next? I still have to go back and do stuff at the Gale... No, no, the Stellar Basin. Gale Cliffs is the one I just did. Um, but the Stellar Basin I still have to do... And that's where he told me to go next, so I probably should finish out this one. I have a lot of it started. Wow! So, it shouldn't be that hard to keep it going. Am I okay on... Damage and stuff? Kind of. Also, I realized that there's a place that you can blow up in the Stellar Basin. Oh shit, I wasn't even paying attention. That would have been really bad if my engine went out now. It would have been really bad. Eh, it wouldn't have been that bad. It would have just taken me forever to get there. Um, yeah, I still have an explosive. That's good. That's good. I'll go back and get stuff in the other areas as well. Because I could, I could spend ages going back and getting all the fish in all the areas, doing every single little tiny thing in all the areas. Um, but right now I'm just interested in progressing story aspects. Oh wait, the thing is right here. Right here. Can I blow you up? From this side? Yes! Yes! It makes me scared that you don't move when you light the fuse. At least back up a little. So this must be what the collector's after, right? Nope, this is refined metal. Oh, uh, what the collector's after was actually in the very middle, isn't it? Ooh. Two pieces of refined metal now. That's great! When I need to upgrade... We're gonna be able to upgrade. If you know what I mean. I don't know what I mean. I also think only some of the squids come out at night time. Should probably go back and ask her what... Ask her more information about the fish that she wants. Nice. I love this market music because it reminds me of... Um, it reminds me of Cass in Breath of the Wild. Do 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 You know it. You know it. Don't act like I'm the crazy one. You know what I'm talking about. You know what it is. Um, cool. Man, I have a lot of wood. What am I waiting for in this? Money. Just money. But all that stuff's gonna come in real handy for the next whole upgrade. Which I personally am very excited about. When I can get upgrades for my boat, that is a good day. But for now, I just need money. Glow squids, get in my belly. You buy this? Nice, three rod spaces. And now I need all of this. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's so nice to have most of it. It's always that cloth that I'm missing. The the bolt of cloth is called. And I need eight hundred dollars. Okay, we get up at four a.m. now, because that means we can go a little earlier. By five a.m., the badness starts to go away, and then by six a.m., it's definitely gone. So we just get like an, a head start on the day, you know. And I can actually fish some of these. Because they only come out at night time as well. So as long as I... As long as I beat the morning rush. We're golden. <laughs> what was the last one that she wanted? Forget. It's definitely not you. Ew. 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 Get it away from me. Ew. Gross. Stop. What up, lady? I'm back. Are you taking care of Beans? The wonderful little dog? Please tell me he's going to be in all of the shots with you now as well. Yes! Okay, glow squid. I know I can put them in any way I want, but I like matching the image. Um, right, so you need a, an Aurora jellyfish, which is coastal. Um, let me just ask you about it. I can't. Wait, does that say that I catch them in a net? Oh, that makes sense. So I don't have a net. I guess I have to buy one? 
225. Actually, I'm very close to that. Wait, what else were you selling? Ooh, you actually sell explosives now as well. And bigger lights. That would be very, very nice. A very, very nice. I would love to be able to put a second twin prop engine on this. Oh, man. What a wonderful day that would be. I would be cruising. I need to get more research parts, though. All right, how much do you guys sell for? Because depending, that would get me my 225 that I need. That should be enough. I don't need that much. Was it like $12 that I need? Yeah, whoa. Three of those sell for 115? Jeepers. Um, oh, you go there. Okay, I'll put you in storage for now. And then put you in storage. And then bring you over. Four hours to install? Well, that gives me some time. Select the trawl net with E and lower it with right click. Ew, okay. So is it like these? Like if I just drive over one of you, do I get it? I guess I do. That was very, very easy. <laughs> that took no time at all. All right, now we can go to sleep and go visit our lady friend tomorrow. Here we go. Um, oh, you have a separate thing for it, net. Boom. Thank you. Looks like you've caught all the surface specimens I need. But I, uh, yes, I do also need some from deeper down. But that's going to be a problem. I don't have the equipment to catch anything deeper anyway. I developed a device to retrieve samples from the Abyssal Zone. This was over in the other research outpost before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the creature at bay long enough to collect these samples. But while I work on that, I need you to retrieve some prototype parts. Carefully, I suggest you go during the day. I wouldn't want to be out on the reef at night. Okay. So I just go back to the other place? At least that's what I interpreted that to mean. How many more powers do I get? Three? Ooh. Sounds like Spider-Man music. Bum, ba, 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 ba. From the game. I'm glad the screen goes red <laughs> and pink to let me know that I'm about to overheat my engines because I would totally overheat all the time. Oh, that was close. A lab. The laboratory is in ruins with the equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? But I looked everywhere already. Oh. I guess this just looked like junk to you the first time. Okay. Easy. I'm glad that the missions aren't that complex. Like I don't have to- Whoa, what are you? Whoa, you look cool. I want to catch you. I need Hadal? Hadal? Never seen that word before in my life. I have your pieces. Excellent. Let me assemble a device for you. This should allow you to catch specimens from much greater depths. It's a little slow, and you may be able to make some improvements. Okay. Oh, nice. I can attach it as well as my rod. Now I've developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking or enrage it, I'm not sure. Connected to the research outpost's generator, you'll have to return to re-engage it every few hours, but other than that, it's completely automated. Nice! Great, now take a look at list, list of specimens. Remember, you want to install and activate the machine before attempting to collect these. You might also need to improve the equipment I gave you to catch some of these. Whoa, a snailfish, anglerfish, giant amphipod, and a loose jaw. You'd only do abyssal though. You might also need to improve that equipment. Yeah, I get it. Okay. 
Damn. This, this is definitely more involved than the other place. The other place was like, just go in and I didn't even really have to interact with the creature at all. So I, I want to see if I can get an upgrade for this thing first. Oh god, this game is so pretty. It's, it's not only pretty and at a lot of times scary, but it's very cozy too. Which is surprising. There's something about just being out in the water when it's raining like this that makes everything so cozy and nice and... I don't know. Some of you will understand what I mean. Um, I can fit another one, right? But seeing the lights in the distance through the hazy rain... I'm a big sucker for anything sort of weather related. It had so much atmosphere, especially like fog, snow, rain. What is that sound? Excuse me? Was that just my stomach rumbling? Researchers repulsion machine can be connected to the outpost generator here. A small object rolls. Yeah! Activate the machine. Uh, not right now. What else am I trying to get? Bottomless lines. Oh. Oh! Nice! Bottomless lines now available in stores, so that can do Hadal stuff. I see what I was supposed to do now. That upgrade only engaged itself. God, look at this thing. Oh god, it's- it's red. It's red. Does that mean it's mad? <laughs> I don't know what happens if you get attacked by it. Do you just die? I don't want to find out. Let me just buy or get more fish. I love this music. I want to get more fish so I can at least have a tiny bit more money, because I don't know how much- Well, I only got one. I don't know how much this upgrade is going to cost. Hopefully it's very cheap. Uh, shipyard. 405! Okay, never mind. Okay, let's start up this thing. Activate the machine, yes! Repulsion machine hums and whirs to life. A few seconds later, a bright light shoots from the top and an alarm begins blaring. The researcher said this should keep the creature at bay for a time at least. I also got the... the thing that I needed. Oh, it just completely goes away. Oh! Oh yeah, he's way down. Okay. Let's get me some treasure! Ah, God damn it! Okay, what did I get? A sextant? Bloody hell, do I need a sextant for? Okay, these are one of the ones that I needed. Yep, gross little weirdo. I hope you're also something that I need. Yep. Wait, are you the snail thing? Nope. You know what? I'm just gonna get what I need and then get out of here. I know the creature's gone completely. What is this? Ooh! That's the thing! Okay. I might as well get the other samples for her. Technically, I was only here to get that relic. I didn't need anything else, but... In for a penny, in for a pound and all that. Oh, it is one that I needed. Okay, and I got your snailfish. So I just need an anglerfish and a loose jaw. I'll stay in this region for a little longer. And then I'll make my way over here, and then night time will descend, and I'll start seeing some anglers around. I can get one of those. Oh, everything's coming up great for me. At least I hope. Actually. Can I... Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! Okay, that was cool! What up, angler ship? You can't get me now! Ah, oh, that's so handy! I have your part for you! You walk in and place the jewel-encrusted ring on the table by the collector. His eyes widen. You just come in and... 
What do you think of that? We're certainly making excellent progress now, and I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at any auction, but for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you are due a reward. He opens the crimson book, its spine cracking audibly. Selecting a page carefully, he begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled, as though he's speaking through a thick haze. Ability to lock banish. Fire off a blazing light that dispels and protects. Ooh, so if I'm getting chased by something, I can just get rid of something once? You hear a growling, crackling in your ears. Suddenly your vision flares and both of your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. I can imagine all manner of detritus swallowed by the silty muck of Twisted Strand's channels. It's worth investigating. I mark a location on your map. Cool. Uh, that's the top left one. Alrighty. Because there's still stuff I can do in Gale Cliffs, like get the the eel that she wanted, the rotten one, and I can do the other one down here. And I'm assuming I get like research parts or things that I can sell. Um, but for now, I'm good with what I have. Let me, I don't have any books to read. Let me go to my storage, yeah. Take out all these, because I'm heading that way tomorrow. Cool. I want to make so much money. How much do you think all this stuff sells for? I'm hoping at least 200. That sextant alone feels like it's worth a lot. 242. It's not... <laughs> it's not crazy. Like the stuff that you're finding, it feels like I should be getting way more money for them, but whatever. All right, is that where I'm going is right there? What I'm seeing can't be this. It looks way too close for that. Oh, I... Optical illusion. It looked like the background and this foreground area were the same place. Ooh, there's a boat over here. Do I trust it? Should I trust it? Am I trusting it? Whoa, there's buildings over there. Like Greek... Uh, style buildings. What is this? You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Hey! Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? A fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. Would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. I could deliver the package to Little Marrow for you. You would? Well, that would work, I guess. Addressed to the dock worker at Little Marrow. It's dense, damp, and very sticky. Ew. Courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from the corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen. I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I can hear the faintest whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Don't have the equipment for it, so just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this too? Getting over it with mind and body. That's a uh, play on getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Okay. Well, I thought I was he heading for the other area, but I guess I'm heading back to Little Marrow for now. But I'll dig up some treasure while I'm here. Uh, dock worker. How's the day treating you? I got a package for you. A delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one, let me see. He takes the large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. He turns and hurries off down the dock without another word to you or compensation. That better come back around later. Because that's annoying. <laughs> 
I, I wasted my day for that. And we can head out. We're safe for now. The nighttime is so cool looking, but also terrifying. But once the day comes around, it starts to get lovely. I'm sure it still smells great out here as well. Apart from the fact that my boat is covered in fish all the time. Wait, his boat is gone! Huh. Interesting. Well, I resolved that matter. Ooh, spooky music. What are you guys? Are you new fish? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. A gray mullet. Like something an old rocker person would have. Cool, that's an interesting way of catching fish. I like that not every fish catches the same. Keeps things at least a little interesting and fresh. What up, traveling merchant? Remember me? Okay, I got 87 from that. I... I probably should be saving up for... Oh, you sell research parts now as well, though. I'll buy it. Because I... No! No, no, no. Damn it. I'm working towards this engine. I feel like... I don't think I'm going to get to this engine. The nets and the pots are fine. I'm sure if you spent a lot of time playing the game, you could get all the upgrades. But right now, I'm just focusing on... Uh, rods and engines. So I feel like they're going to yield the best results for me. But I also do need to get more cloth stuff. I don't trust this area, man. Oh, this is where I need the mangrove rod. Right? Yeah. Dang it. What is that? Are you- are you- okay? Ooh. Can you actually get caught under this thing? That looks like what this is for. Nope. Okay, you're just making me insane. I am going to leave. Wow! No! Let me rest! Oh. Fucking poison ivy over here. Jesus. Okay, do I... I don't think I got the mangrove rod. No, volcanic and shallow rod. Do I have it here? Mangrove and cousin. I bought the research part when I could have used it to buy that. Oh well. Plenty more fish in the sea! See, that comes in handy for this. Let's check out what this island has. Can still catch all these. Not that they sell for much. Whoa! Entwined mullet. It's like the Rat King. At least making money in this game is fairly easy. Like, there's never been a time where I'm low on cash and then I can't get some. Ever. What do we have here? Oh, you're glowing. Treasure. What is it? New bike? PS5? Dog tags. A pair of dog tags. A name, number, and address is printed in duplicate. Oh, that's a plane that crashed. Cool. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a boat that was splayed up against the shore. Some good dredging out here today. Yes! Because that's the thing, you get a random chance to get a research part whenever you're dredging something, so... You probably have to play a lot of the game. Can I inspect this? It's not giving me the option. Ooh, another boat. Whoa! Okay! 
Okay! We are not doing that! Whoa, buddy! You crafty bastards! Oh my god, I'm just gonna keep dredging the wood. I'm just gonna stay in my lane. I'm just gonna do what I'm good at. Oh, that actually scared me. <laughs> that was cool. What is with everybody, everything trying to be something else? Huh? We have fish trying to be boats. We have crabs trying to be boats. It's terrifying. Now I have me, uh... A mangrove rod. I have no money, but... I'll make that back in no time when I get all of these fish. Okay, that thing is coming to kill me very quickly. Okay. Okay, why do you suck? Why are you after me all the time? I need to find somebody in here who has a mission. I think if I get a mission, it'll be like, hey, kill the thing that's out there, and then I will, and everything will be great. Ooh, they sold for 153. That's great. For just two fish? That's awesome. Um, let me go around this instead. I don't like going into it. Feels like nothing but death is in there. Hiya! 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 What are you? A sergeant fish. Where's the colonel fish? Okay. Look, I'm a lonely fisherman. You gotta take whatever jokes you can get. I also need to find salvage. Which I actually don't think I can dredge up with the equipment that I have right now. So if I can dredge up some stuff, then I can increase my slots, and then I'll be very happy. Ooh, what this? Pointing me in a direction, well, I'm afraid to go anywhere. That thing is everywhere! I don't even have time to piss! Okay, the wood's gotta go, because I'm running out of room. Okay, that's saying go right. That's just back here. I'm afraid that if I go under that thing, I'm gonna get caught by it. Ooh, there's a plane in there. Ah, there's too many things to do! My brain doesn't know which one to prioritize. Here's the plane. Oh god, why are you here? This is some cloth that I need, but this is a terrible idea. Oh, no, it's not. Oh god, oh god, oh god, can I get out over here? It's a bottle there, I don't want to be here anymore! This is a mistake! How do I get out? 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 Which way do I go? <laughs> this way. Get away from that thing! There must be something I can do to keep him away. Oh, maybe that new upgrade I got! If he comes after me, I just go... Damn, I didn't think about that. I got a mortar barrel. Okay, well I can't do anything with any of these right now. I don't have room for anything. I hope this thing gives me three cloth. Please. No! That was gonna be my win! If that gave me three cloth, then I could upgrade and then finally clear out most of my storage. I have way too many items right now. But I don't want to dump a bunch of them. Oh, this is SOS. A castaway. I'm saved. Saved. Oh, you were a sight for these sore eyes. What happened? I washed up here. Oh, it must have been some two weeks ago now. We were in rough seas, and when a wave hit us broadside, I was jostled overboard and swept away. I thought my crew would have come to find me by now, but... Yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you looking for me? No. Oh, well, I'm sure they're out there looking anyways. Can you get me to Little Marrow, stranger? I should be able to catch them there when they next stop by. Uh, yeah. You can sit next to the boards. 
Claim a board. <laughs> There's nothing else to claim in there. I have nothing but boards. I wish something would just be more cloth. Just something. Man, I keep getting sidetracked by more missions. Hopefully this guy gives me something good though. He probably won't because he's right there and all he has to do is bring him right here. Which means I was probably supposed to find him earlier and all he's going to give me is like a doubloon. A doubloon! I'll take it. But I know you've got something better on you. The sweet, rank smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. He turns to you. For someone who has just been saved, he seems gloomy. I've not got much on me, as you can imagine, and I have a feeling this isn't worth much anymore. For me, at least. Or perhaps it'll be worth something for you. A signet ring. It's better than nothing. I can't sell this. I picked up a mortar barrel and I can't sell it to him, so... Sweet cloth! I'm gonna get as much as I can because this is always the one that I'm missing. Nice! Are you more cloth? Oh, you're metal, aren't you? Yep. Okay, be careful. The tiniest nudge in this game always seems to break your ship. I gotta be careful. Man, remember when this, uh, marrow area seemed so big to get across? Now I'm feckin' zooming! I also should have crab pots here that I haven't picked up in a long time. Okay, time to upgrade my ship! No, it's not. I actually still need 800. The lighthouse keeper approaches you on the dock, wearing a questioning expression. You must have been around most of the islands by now. Have you found whatever it is you're looking for? Almost. She shifts her weight and leans hard against her staff. How can you be so sure? The last time you thought you knew, and look what happened. She turns from you, shaking her head and muttering. She heads back towards the lighthouse. I don't appreciate old, creepy women in media who seem to know more than I do. Okay, I need a lot more, man. <laughs> so much more money. Do I have any fish on me, do I? No. But also, my storage is full, so I need to... <sighs> you do Abyssal. I could probably sell you. Because you do Abyssal and Hadal. Can I just put you in? Why can I just put stuff here? Oh, I can put you in there, actually. If I go to the shipwright, can I sell it? No. Because it's not a paid upgrade. Fine. 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 Let's try this. Let's try getting some fish and not getting sped up because I have my banish thing on and we're going to test to see if it works. And now the guy's not here for some reason. So that's cool. Now I can't test it out. That's fine. I don't have any room for you. There he is. Boof. Nice. That got rid of him. Oh, it lasts a while. I thought it was like a single burst and then it was gone. That's wonderful. Does he just come back immediately though? Okay, I'm very close to 800. I have 714. I heard water rustle. Water doesn't rustle, it gurgles. The woe is gurgling. I gotta get out of here. I don't wanna be here for any longer than I need to be. Okay, is that enough? 797, I need three dollars. Three dollars! You know what, just go back and go to bed and try again tomorrow. I don't know why I even try to do cool things. I mean, clearly the world doesn't want me to. Here we go. Here we go. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. 
Sell these bad boys. Boom. I have a thousand dollars now. Oh! Nice! What else can I do? No. Additional engine slots, additional light space, cargo spaces, net spaces, rods, braces. Sorry, that was gross. <laughs> Sometimes it just bubbles out of you, you know? Uh, I need more metal. Yes, free up all that space and buy it. Oh, oh, oh. And cargo spaces. That's why we get more cloth, even though I don't have enough. Suddenly I have like way too many things and then after a while it's like, no, actually you don't have anything anymore. Actually, that was a lot to be able to fill into that. Just one more cloth. Nice. It's nice to have storage space again. I can dump that back in there. Woo! I'm gonna go to this island. It's like down here. I don't think I've been to that one either. Maybe I have because I was closer on the other side. What do you hold? What secrets do you have? Do you have cloth? Cloth would be sick. I always need cloth. What is that? Is that another plane? How many damn planes go down around here? Am I in the Bermuda Triangle? That's not a plane! <laughs> That's a crab! Run! Or a uh, uh, boat! Oh my god, how am I supposed to get away from those? You're not another one, are you? Whoa. You approach a hooded figure. Deep violet robes mask their face completely. Fishermen feed. The person appears to forget the rest of what they were about to say. Feed the mouth. The hooded figure reveals a scroll. They gesture to a picture shown at the top. I have one. No, I don't. Fuck! Okay, I'll get you a tarpon. What are you gonna do for me, though? If I get you a tarpon, are you gonna get me, like, tickets to Taylor Swift? Because those are hard to come by. Here. Oh, hole damage. God. Have your bloody tarpon. They hold the fish in front of their face, studying it with a tightening grip. After a few seconds, the fish collapses on itself under the pressure. The figure looks through the gory mess and picks out the heart, placing it onto their tongue. Sustain the mind. They show you another scroll. This one shows a horseshoe crab. Oh, you're just gonna keep asking for things. I'm done with you. Relationship with hooded man over. Can I get this before I get killed? Yeah, actually, because it's not rousing from its slumber at all. Another sextant. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, this is a plane I can inspect. The fuselage of an old fighter plane sits amidst the mass of broken wings and wheels. Try to get inside the fuselage. Ooh, fancy boots! Some dog tags and some glasses. Man, I have so much storage now. That's so cool. Hell yeah. Cloth! The one true. This is like playing the escapists again when all I need is duct tape. And I could never get any. Now cloth is king. Nice. Ooh, it is getting late though, and I am not near where I want to be. Let's just head out and around. <laughs> I don't want to go through the middle, because I'll get killed. Well, I do have the banishing thing. I shouldn't be that scared. But I am, because I'm a weak little boy. And even though I've upgraded my ship a lot, the tiniest little nudge seems to break half of it all the time. That is a deep rumble. Do you think there's like, you know how they always say, oh, there's always a bigger fish. Do you think there's a massive one in the game? I hope so. I hope there's something huge in this game that I haven't seen. I can't do anything with any of that. What was I getting? Cargo space? Yes. And I need $300 for it. 
Ugh. Okay. So new light space would be nice as well, actually, because I want to buy one of the bigger lights. Damn it. I used to have so much stuff and I have nothing. Let's try and get this message that's back in here again. Oh, there you are. Oh, how good for me. How absolutely delightful for me. Okay, anything else I can get in here? What are all these mushrooms? Ooh, maybe I need a bomb? Yeah! I don't have any packed explosives. Yeah, why did it even give me the option to try? Oh, I'll get some, don't you worry. Okay, so that thing doesn't follow me forever. That's really good to know. I can actually just go about my business. This is delightful! I, this game's not nearly as scary as I keep thinking it is. I don't need to be worried at every corner and every turn and every scare. I can just go at my own pace. Live my own destiny. Ooh, what this? Whoa, 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 whoa. God damn. It's like playing cluster truck. Nice. Okay, don't want to catch some fish yet. I want to dredge. I want to dredge! Dredge! Like, will you hurt me if I get caught in you? I kind of want to go under it just to see. Fine, I'll catch some fish. I do need the money. It feels like years since I have been warm. I do not expect him to write. I just need to know what he thinks of me from time to time. The next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. More angry smudging follows. I've written him another letter. This will be the last one. Okay. What was the last book I read? 15% resilience to panic. That's great. Can I have that for real life? I would love to be able to be resilient to panic. Oh, weird one! Vortex Interloper! Okay, there's that dude again. When he gets close, I'm gonna fire the nukes. Oh, he disappeared on his own! <laughs> Alright, let's go blow this up. Wait, that's not... Oh! This is not where I thought I was going. Whoa! Wait, you were here this whole time? God damn it. A large- Whoa, you're missing an arm! A large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away at a wooden stake. He stands as you pull ashore. <laughs> Stranger. From that look at your face, I'd say you've encountered the local wretches. Take a seat. You join him by the fire. I've been trying to get rid of them for this from this accursed jungle ever since we wrecked here. The boys call them mind suckers on account of them, well, affecting the mind. They made us see things, do things. I'd ask for you for safe passage away from here, but not until I've avenged my squadron. I'm listening. I've met a few who, a few would-be rescuers over the years, but none would help me in my fight. Are you any different than the rest? <laughs> I can help. I figured you'd be up for it. You, you have the look. Listen up. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. Ah. We'll then use that to bombard the beasts. Other planes went down to the north and east of where we are now. I marked the possible crash sites on your map. You go and see what you can salvage. I knew there had to be a mission here somewhere. <sighs> I've hung a few of their dog tags up in the tree behind me. It seemed fitting enough. But I've only got tags from the ones I... You must understand, I never found all of their bodies. If you happen to find any of their dog tags, I could add them to the tree with their brothers. Ooh, nice. Thank you. Um... Okay. Boom! Big engine! Nice. Now that's epic. Okay, so... There's one behind me. Is that that way? I don't have infinite explosives. 
Well, at least not here. I don't know if I can get more elsewhere. Uh, Goldsmith and Son, Little Marrow, 1926. Received the sum of $50.00 in exchange for one silver necklace with emeralds and silver mounting. Received a further $3.00 for custom engraving on reverse of mounting. Customer to return tomorrow for collection. Engraving is as follows. For Jay, my shining star. This is the second time we've seen the name J in an engraving for something, isn't it? I feel like I should be piecing something together, but I'm not. Um, to the left? Oh, it's right here. Nice. Dude, you're just gonna blast this thing straight out of the water? That's my kind of style. I like the sounds of that. I also did need metal. What a wonderful day. Oh, maybe that's what those are for. Then I get it to go through that and the guy fires the mortar at it and kills it. I'm down. Um, let me just do this first. What was I doing? This one? Nice, new light space. And I guess I have to get these if I wanna upgrade the rest of my boat. That needs to go in my storage, and so do the dog tags. I thought I had more dog tags. Because I don't think I can sell them, right? Maybe not. I'm coming, buddy. Don't you worry. Hopefully that's all I need for the mortar. I don't know if I need any more bits. Hi, friend. Nice. That's the lot. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. You may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoons around here. I've assembled those traps for the mine suckers. We just need to lure them in there. Yes. Once they're in, you see, I can fire on them with our new mortar. And that'll be the end of them. No more mm. nightmares. I marked the locations of the traps. Okay. Need to make three special baits from different combinations of fish. Oh, man. Okay, I don't even know what these fish are. Oh, man, there's a lot to do. Okay. Uh... Let's talk about dog tags. Mm. I thank you. I'll hang on to hang them on the tree here, as promised. Nice. Okay, I thought I could literally just go back out and lure the thing into the trap and you would just blow them to bits. But I guess not. Life has to be more difficult. So I need to keep fishing. Well, this is not fishing. This be dredging! These are all just regular fish. I don't know why it had a... Oh, and I have to put it into three different traps? I have to attack him three times? Okay. Uh, bait for the second one. That's just another one of those. Why is it question marked? And then the last ones are long fin eel, which I think only come out at night time, so... Okay. Where do I put the bait? In one of the traps, the construction of the lagoons are... Okay. Can I go do that now? Like, can I just go put this bait in this trap? Or do I have to have all three? Nice. Should probably move away. Ah, so it just triggers immediately. Nice, get him! Get him! Oh, you think you're hot shit, but you ain't. A chunk of flesh. Nice. That was sick. 
I thought it was the same one attacking me every time, but I guess it's different... Uh, what, what do you call them? Mind suckers? Come on, be eels, be eels. Oh, that's good too. What are you, catfish? Come on, just an eel. Yes! Don't disappear though. Yes! Nice. Okay, I actually don't know what else I need. I might be done? Look at this slick movement! I'm the world's greatest fisherman. Okay. I need you, and you. Yes! And then the bait for the last one. Boom! Nice! Okay, I'm off! It's time to blow this popsicle stand! Okay, there's one of them over on the left. That was almost too perfect for me. It's like, yeah, I want to go here at nighttime, and let's go at this hour. And then it was the perfect amount of time I needed to get the things that I wanted. I'm just cool like that, I guess. Oh, through the mangrove. Yeah. Um. Over here. Yeah, baby. Um. Oh, I guess you just pick the number. Get him. Get him. Get him! <sighs> Trying to keep the camera on him. <laughs> yeah! And oh, then you hear the shot in the distance. That's so cool. Somebody must want these. There's no way I can just pick them up for nothing. They're just taking up room in my storage otherwise. There's the last one. And then I assume I can bring the guy back, right? I want to be able to bring him back to civilization. To Great Marrow. Or Little Marrow. No one wants to go to Great Marrow. Wait for it! When it comes down, wait for the shot to the left. Beautiful! Flawless execution. I don't know how you managed to hit that guy so perfectly, but... I'll take it, man. We did it, Buckaroo! We finally killed those bastards. Look at that mortar. How are things going? Oh. Oh, crap. I don't have the other one on me. Pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yes. This is the one of the beast's progress at last. More to go, though. Oh, you have more? You drop the flesh onto the ground, he gives it a few slashes with his knife and wobbles a little. Another one taken care of. One remains by my count. Let's finish this. Can I access my storage? Yeah. Here you go. Let's see it then. Drop the large bloody carcass, he bends down, revealing a glint of metal with a sickening tear. Oh, right, I needed the thing for the collector. He rests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. You recognize it as a necklace, glistening in gore. Boom. A melancholic look comes over his face. And now, well, that's, that's that, I suppose. What will you do now? Can't say for sure. I thought I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but this has become somewhat of a home for me. Doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay a while longer. In the meantime, I can make up some special bait for you. It ought to help with your fishing. Mm. Ooh. Nice! <laughs> Toss the bait overboard to attract local species. Ow! Oh, that's one of my abilities. Yeah. Okay. Now we can head back to the Black Isle guy. I have another thing! Please give me a power! Oh wait, did I put it in my storage? Silly. 
Carrying the ornate necklace, the collector recognizes it almost immediately. An excellent find. It demands pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table, candle wax pooling in its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. And I suppose you'll be demanding recompense as well. Once more, he opens a book, book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. You begin to feel weak, but you're rooted to the spot, knees on the verge of buckling. Atrophy. Instantly harvest an entire shoal of fish. Whoa! As he finishes speaking, you feel blood rushing back to your legs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. We're so close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but... The abyssal plane and the approach to the devil's spine is a likely candidate. See what you can find. Nice. So now I can just... I have all the powers now. Cool. So if I just want to go over to like a thing of fish, like this... Does it... Wow. Well, that's very handy in a tight spot. Love that. Something slithers on into your cargo hold. Black tip reef shark infected. Huh? Can I still sell this? Okay. And this one's rotting already? What happened? <laughs> Whoa, this thing's glowing now. What? A slab of rock checks out from the water, bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. Do I... Put these fish in it? Is that you guys? I can't remember which fish that is. Nope. Because I should be able to do that fairly quick now if I have this new ability. Do they only glow at nighttime? I realize that I've probably never been around one at nighttime. Interesting. The plot thickens like soup. Oh, the dock worker's back. Are you sick now? The dock worker is standing motionless at the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. He seems paralyzed by fear by what he sees. You stand with him for a while. Occasionally a tremor shakes his body and his breathing becomes labored. He seems unable to respond. He strains, clenches a fist, eyes shut tight with the effort. A tear rolls down his cheek. His body relaxes suddenly and his eyes snap open again. They are cloudy and expressionless. Fluid rattles through his lungs. A drop of dark ooze falls from one of his ears and lands on the dock. It slips between the boards and disappears into the water below. That's the infected stuff that I got on the shark. A trembling head turns ever so slightly towards you. His breathing grows heavy in anger until you step backwards, leaving him standing there on the dock. So you're not infected. That's kind of cool. Am I spreading an infection to everybody in this game? Because I'm sad if I'm killing people. <laughs> no, it's not just at night time. This is just glowing now. I do have curved fish. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to like fill this up, but I can. A wave washes over the fish, sweeping them away. When the water recedes, you notice something is lodged against the rock. A sinew spindle. A handline reel wrapped in a length of stretchy sinew. One end is grafted to a crude bone hook. Coastal and shallow fish. Okay. And there we have the last part of that for the net modifier. Now, what do we need for this? Oh, holy God. So four cloth and two refined metal and $1,500. It's not impossible. 
It's actually not that hard to do at all. And then I can get the last engine upgrade and that should give me room for the big engine that I want. How much does that actually cost? Uh, 450. That's not too bad. I can buy that now. Just put it in storage. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I still need room for the lights. Um, but I think the new hull upgrade will help with that as well. Okay, well I'm gonna leave this episode of Dredge here. Thank you so much for watching it. The next episode will be the last one. I didn't actually think I would play this entire game. I thought I would just kind of like leave it at one episode, but people have been asking for it a lot. People seem to enjoy it a lot, so I'm very happy about that. It, it's always nice when you find little games like this that, I don't know, just connects with people. So thank you for watching this episode. Go check out my coffee, topofthemorningcoffee.com. Get something for yourself. We also have tea and hot chocolate, lots of merch, hats, pins, stickers, and mugs. Get yourself anything you want that's there. All of it goes to help Crisis Text Line as well, so you'll be doing a good thing. Go check it out. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.